After two neutral site games at the Raising Canes River Center last season, the Prowlers took two trips there this year. As the Prowlers and Zydeco match up for the final time in 2023-24, let's take a look back at the season series so far. To find the last time the Prowlers were in Baton Rouge, you have to flash back all the way to November and the start of a Southwest road trip. Port Huron got the first goal of the first ever meeting between the franchises, just 1-11 in. But later in the period, the Zydeco scored twice in two minutes and two seconds to take the lead. Late in the opening frame, the Prowlers got back to even. And Hussey got the pad to the post to keep Scantleberry from cashing in. Here he has it again, backhander block, now on the forehand, knocked down, the rebound sits there, and they score! Matt Graham on the spot on the doorstep, and the Prowlers tie the game up. Midway through the second, Alex Johnson put home a power play tally to put the roadside back in front, but that goal was matched just over a minute later by MJ Graham to make it 3-3, heading into period three. There, Brian Parsons gave the Prowlers another advantage, but this time, they were able to build on it. Now here's Graham to the trailer. Freeboy down low looking for Chartrand crashing the crease. And he just couldn't connect. Graham again towards Chartrand. Sits there and it pops in. Liam Freeborn with his first of the season makes it 5-3 Prowlers. The Zydeco's Graham got his second of the night, but Baton Rouge couldn't find the tying tally as Austin Federley hit the empty net from long range to seal the win. The next night, Freeborn got the only goal of the opening 20 minutes, and that held until midway through the second, when the lead doubled. Tried to feed the center of the ice, Telstrom stole it, one-timer by Jay, I think that may have caught iron. Parsons, down deep, deflected, score! The shot pass from Brian Parsons touched home neatly by Dalton Jay and the Prowlers double the advantage. Evan Foley added to the advantage with less than two minutes to go in the middle period and then the Prowlers made it 4 to nothing early in the third. Noah Robinson spoiled the shutout bid for Tucker Tynan but that's all the Zydeco got past him as the Prowlers man advantage put a bow on the weekend sweep. That is a season high. As Freeborn feeds it across, Johnson has space, he scores! The cherry on top for Alex Johnson as he quiets the crowd. 5-1 Port Huron with a minute 16 to go in the third. Port Huron left the Raising Canes River Center with all six points and didn't return until last night. It was a slow and sluggish opening 20 minutes, but just before the final 60 seconds, the Prowlers got on the board. Down deep to Skittleberry, got through his skates. Now Connor Foley scores! Liam Freeborn wrapped it in front. Connor Foley puts it in on the short side. And with a minute eight to go in period one, the Prowlers break the ice. Early in the second, Port Huron got a power play and it only took eight seconds for them to strike. Zydeco PK, fourth in the league, 81.6%. Luber shot, he scores! Off the crossbar, off Stevens and in, and the first pro goal for Dominic Luber makes it 2-0. 27 seconds after that, Austin Federley took advantage of a turnover to make it 3-0. Tyler Larwood found the back of the net on a 5-on-3, but that's all Baton Rouge could muster against Makar Sokolov, who made 29 saves in the win. Now tonight in the fourth and final meeting between these two teams, the Prowlers are looking to complete their only season series sweep against a team they see multiple times. They'll continue that quest next when the third period begins right here on the PHP Network.